welcome back to my channel um y'all know i don't like to wear my glasses on videos but oh bitch cannot drive without her glasses anyways i just got at the dentist didn't get shit done i didn't get my teeth removed and my teeth my wisdom teeth removed hold on driving a fucking big old van is kind of hard i'm scared What the hell is even that? And there's people staring at him when people stare. It's the anxiety. Okay, we're just gonna go that far. Anyway, freaking, I'm on my way home from the dentist. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Oh my goodness, bitches do not know how to drive for real, bro. Anyways, besides the point, as you can see by the title of this video, that sad. It happened to me and my boyfriend. If I talk about it, I'm gonna get a little sad, but y'all need to know because I was so excited. Like, and y'all need to stay freaking. I'm gonna take this other way home because there's too much traffic through here. I need to stop cussing a lot. What was I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys so you guys could be aware of it too because we were not aware of it and it happened to us. So, my boyfriend and I were really excited because we went to go look at this apartment and we were so excited, you know, like, because we were going to get our own place with the baby and have our family, like, you know, and freaking, we went to go look at the apartment, we signed a freaking um, lease or whatever and we gave them money. So first... We gave a lockdown payment, which was of $200. And then after that, we had to get 500 of deposit and 1000 of rent, which was the first month. It was kind of weird, kind of sketch, but we didn't think anything of it because we got to see the apartment. So, fuck, it's so it's sad, but um, we sent the lease and everything. We went to go see the apartment on a Sunday. We signed the, the lease on a Tuesday, I believe. And then we were supposed to move on, move in on a Friday. So since we were, we thought we had the apartment locked in and everything, we started packing everything from the room. So we started packing everything. Everything was in bags and boxes. And then that Friday, my suegra was like, let's go see the apartment. My boyfriend was at work and he already had given $1,500. And this is another thing so you guys can be aware. Because we were not aware of it and you guys might call it stupid, but whatever. We were excited and we thought it was for real. Um, what's it called? So, where was I? Where the fuck was I? I need to stop cussing like I said. Okay, so my swagger I was like, let's go see the apartment. My boyfriend was at work. So me, my suegra, and my suegro, and my cuñada went to the apartment. And we told my boyfriend, ask the guy of the apartment for the code so we could see it. Tell him we're going to move in a little earlier. Because my boyfriend had told him Friday at 12. And so we were there, and the guy was not answering my boyfriend. He said that they had to give him the key in person. Mind you, we never saw this guy in person at all. We have, we were doing everything through the internet. We were giving the payments through PayPal and Zelle. Mind you, I forgot to add this. My boyfriend freaking... I had thought it was sketch. And she, he told the guy like... Okay. My boyfriend told the guy that he thought it was sketch how we had to give the payment through PayPal or Zelle. And the guy gave my boyfriend a whole ass paragraph, a whole speech, saying that um, he was a man of church, a Christian, and who knows what, that he would never do that. Warning sign, but we still believed it. Which was a warning sign, but we still did it because we were excited about it and thought it was for real. I never in my life thought we could get scammed the way we got scammed. But 
My boyfriend lost $1,500 in this apartment. So the way we found out was, so this guy was not answering us. As soon as my boyfriend sent the money, he was taking forever to answer. But he was not answering, trying to freaking trick us. So my suegro asked one of the neighbors in those apartments um, that, um, who was the main owner. So they gave him the number and he called and he said that they do not, because my boyfriend saw this in Facebook Marketplace. So if you see any apartments on there, be careful because these people be tricky AF. Um, the apartment was really pretty and everything. Watch, I'll show you guys how it looked like. But yeah, that's how it looked. So we were excited about it because what the heck, it was gonna be our first place together because currently we live with our suegros, our suegros, my suegros, which I'm really thankful for. Um, but, but yeah. That's how the apartment looked. We were excited about it. And then the lady said that they do not sell apartments that they do not advertise their apartments on Facebook and stuff like that. So just be careful guys, who you guys contact for places and stuff. We learned our lesson and we hope we don't get scammed like that anymore. My boyfriend still hasn't gotten his money back. We made a police report. We went to um, his bank and they still haven't contacted him. But, yeah, it's really sad, honestly, that there's shitty people like that. That freaking trick people into doing that. Because my boyfriend was really... My boyfriend was the one that was more excited. I was excited, of course. But my boyfriend was the one who put in his freaking... Who worked his ass off just to freaking get scammed. Get freaking... He worked, technically worked for free because he lost those $1,000. Like, he wasted, like, his whole paycheck on that freaking apartment and stuff. And currently, this is how the room was before. I had to really pack everything up. That was the more stressful part. Of course, it was sad that my boyfriend got his money stolen. And I was just there to comfort him. It was not my money, so I didn't know how to comfort him. Like, he was really hurt. Like, really hurt. And so was I, because I already had everything planned on how I was going to decorate it and everything. But, I mean, things happen for a reason, and maybe God has better plans for us. Um, But, yeah, hopefully you guys don't get scammed how we got scammed, because that's really sad, honestly. Um, hopefully soon... Now we're really scared to like even like contact people because we don't want to get scammed like that. So it's probably going to take us a while. It's probably going to take us a while to look for another place. Um, but hopefully we do get our own place. It's pretty sad but like I said things happen for a reason. And hopefully we'll find a better place like I said. Dios hace las cosas por una razón and maybe he has something better for us. Better than that apartment. Better because it was it's really cute that apartment. It was so pretty as you guys saw on the last clip. And if you guys see it on Facebook Market or Craigslist or anything like that, do not get it because I mean it was too good to be true because shit's expensive now. And that apartment was one thousand rent with no with utilities included. Like what the heck? But, yeah, so, that's really why I haven't been posting, too, because we were busy doing all that. And because of my baby, because I haven't posted since my labor video, but simply because I'm still learning to be a mom. I was, like, stressed at the beginning, you know, because it's new, first-time mom, and, like, you be stressing. But I've had a lot of help from my suegra and my mom. I have a lot of help. So... 
I haven't been that stressed, but I was just getting the hang of it. But I'll start posting more, like I say all the time. Dude, it looks like I have no eyes. That's why I hate wearing my glasses, but whatever. She needs to drive safe. But, um, other than that, I will be posting more often. I'm starting to gain more confidence and everything, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I should talk about my pregnancy. I think I'll make a separate video on that. Right now, I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys won't get scammed how we did and how hurt I am. Because I was posting on Snapchat, I posted, like I wasn't literally telling everyone that I was moving out. But I posted a snap where I was packing and stuff and everyone was asking where I was going. But it didn't happen and it, I'm hurt, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's an update. That's what's currently going on right now. But I don't know if I'll finish this off at the house, like later on tonight. So you guys could see the room but yeah i'll finish it off there other than that i'm really really sad and i'm really hoping my boyfriend gets his money back it's been a week already tomorrow's gonna be a whole week of the incident um so it's really sad but god has better plans for us guys i know he does and maybe he didn't want us to get an apartment. Maybe he wants us to get a house or a better area. Because where the apartment was, the area was not good at all. It was kind of ghetto. I'm in the ghetto. I know the vibes. So maybe he wants us to live in a better place. Um, and honestly... I'm okay because having a newborn is hard and my suegra helps me a lot like when I want to shower she takes care of him or when I want to you know just have a little break she takes care of him although I have attachment issues with this kid like I have to be with him 24 7 and the couple of minutes that I'm without him I guess I have separation anxiety but yeah, that's that. It be like that sometimes. So I'm coming my baby right now because we just give him a shower. And then I'll show you guys the room. Oh, it ended up. I'm almost done. There's just a few little details. But do I get a little bath on my baby? So I'm changing him right now. Covered porque tiene frío. Gracias a todos los que ven mis videos and the ones that always support me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, stay tuned for the next videos. Period.